Continuously variable transmission is an automatic transmission that varies ratio depending on vehicle speed, engine RPM, and load. Engines have an RPM range where they deliver the best power at the best efficiency. The goal of the CVT system is to allow the engine to operate at optimal power for varying vehicle driving conditions. A CVT system consists of three principal components, a primary clutch, a secondary clutch, and a belt. The primary clutch has two sheave faces, the stationary sheave which is attached to the engine crankshaft and the movable sheave which moves in and out to engage the belt. An arrangement of flyweights pivots outward in response to centrifugal force. These weights press on the movable sheave and force it towards the stationary sheave. The sheaves pinch the belt, engaging the CVT and transmit power to the secondary clutch. The secondary clutch is mounted to the input shaft of the transmission or transaxle. Like the primary clutch, it has a stationary and a movable sheave. Belt pinch force in the secondary clutch is generated by a compression spring and a torque sensing element called a cam or helix. The compression spring holds the secondary clutch closed at low ratio. The helix has two or three helical surfaces that are in contact with rollers or sliding buttons attached to the clutch shaft. As the throttle is depressed, the primary clutch closes and tightens the belt. This forces the secondary clutch sheaves to spread and shifts the CVT to a lower ratio. The vehicle accelerates. When the throttle is reduced, the belt pinch at the primary is reduced and the secondary clutch compression spring forces the secondary sheaves closer together. The vehicle decelerates. When the vehicle is started or accelerated under load, the helix senses the increased torque and prevents the secondary clutch and the CVT from shifting to a higher ratio. Back shifting occurs when the helix senses increasing load. This produces more torque to the ground. Up shifting occurs when the load is lightened. These shifts occur automatically and instantly in response to vehicle load and available engine power. CVTs can be tuned to differing applications by the right choice of flyweight mass, spring strength, and helix angle. When properly designed and tuned, all of the components of a CVT system work together to transmit engine power to the ground at the optimal ratio.